Hi and welcome to this episode of MRTV Meets. This time I am in Somnium Space, this VR world, and I'm going to talk with Artur Sitchev, who is the founder and visionary of Somnium Space. And he's somewhere in that building and he is going to come down, I think here. Yes, I think there he is in that elevator coming down to us. <laughs> and we're going to have an interview and talk about Somnium Space. Very much looking forward to meet him. And hello, hello, Artur. Good to meet you. How are you doing? Hi, Sebastian. Finally, I'm good. You? Thanks I'm, for coming. Yeah, you're welcome. It's very cool to be here in your world and to see you come down that elevator from your headquarters. Right, that's my favorite experience to be honest. I like a small kid, you know. Nice. Very cool. So, yeah. Um, thanks for your invitation here to Somnium Space. Uh, for all of the people who don't know yet what Somnium Space is, could you tell them what is Somnium Space? Right. Um, Somnium Space is the open resistance virtual reality world uh, where you can meet really with people, you can chat, you can play games, uh, you can buy land, you can shop uh, even the car, the Tesla right behind you. You can buy that one. I mean, um, in principle, you can do anything you want. Um, okay. And that's kind of what we try to achieve. Okay, that's nice. So I can buy things and uh, yeah, I can play, I can um, buy land. And, um, but what is, the, what is the difference as compared to other virtual worlds? What, what, what sets Somnium Space apart? Right, so um, first of all, of course, we have implemented several special features uh, which we can tackle later, um, like, you know, the small things. But the big difference, um, I think, is that we are one persistent universe, as we discussed several times already. So meaning, you look right there, you see, uh, you see that red uh, red mesh, and then behind it, tro uh, trees in the, in, the, in the far, far background. You can just walk there right now, and all the people around the around the universe will see the same trees in the far distance. And if something happens, you will see it, and everyone will experience it in one instance. So you will not have different and fragmented uh, experiences. So that one that is one thing, and another one is that you know all other social worlds or majority of them they have those small instances where you teleport from room to room, and you have pretty cool experiences. But you have this feeling of uh, you know, small uh, teleportation, and that's that's what we um, try to make different. We want to have all in one place. Okay, I understand. So, it's really if I if I if I say okay, let's meet at the market square at three p.m. There's only this market square, right? We will meet here exactly, just as we did exactly before this interview. I asked you, hey, where to meet, and you said, hey, yeah, let's meet at the market square at ten. <laughs> And here we are, and there's, there's only one market square, and that's a special thing. And I could walk around the whole world, and there would be no loading screen, whatever? No. So if we just start walking and talking, we'll be walking for, I think, like at least 10, 15 minutes, but that until we reach the limit of the first phase one. That means, it doesn't mean that it will always be like that, that right now we are, you know, we're limiting it in a, in a way that uh, we can sell the first part of land, uh, but it's a huge instance already. This is okay. like five kilometers square. You'll be really walking and walking and walking. And you almost never reach the end. Okay, cool. So why don't you show us a bit around? And while we walk around, probably I can ask you some more questions as well. Absolutely. Uh, so where should we start? Uh, we have built this um, starting location. We call it Somnium Waypoint. Okay. Um, case of what could be done um, and kind of as a starting experience because our idea of course is in general that per players have to build the world by themselves you know they will buy land they will build anything they want um, we want, don't want to control it but this is the location at least a long time ahead people will be spawning people will be appearing when they first time come to some news you see there are some things um, showing you how to navigate here yes. uh, the shopping mall and stuff like that so we have built this as a showcase what the world will look like in the future we don't know and that's kind of the exciting part of it okay. but right now what we have implemented and we're still you know working on it we're adding features every second week i would say um so this is arcade hall we can just walk there okay. um, all right 
cool. So, so here, can... here you can you can you play bowling. Uh, you know, um, and this is the full fledged scale bowling game where you you know start the game. You have your points counted. Uh, you can uh, you, you can basically yeah I'll start right next to you. Uh, I take. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you take it with the grab, uh, with, the, with, the, with the grab button. Ah, with the grab button. Oh yeah. Oops. The grab, exactly. Ah, now you throw it away. Exactly. So now show me your skill. <laughs> Let me do it. Yes, strike. Cool. Oh, uh, okay, good. <laughs> and the point is, you oh, you should bad. see if I throw oh, not if bad. I throw if I throw the ball. Look, if I throw the ball, you see my ball rolling and you see my uh, my score you see everything live again this is the resistant universe everyone sees the same thing if you would now go um, if you would go to that building uh, you don't see it from here so basically there is a oh. glass roof if you would be standing in that uh, in that uh, tower I on the roof you would be seeing us exactly you would uh, be seeing us playing that is very cool that is indeed very cool so um People can, yeah, strike. Woo! I think. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you you've been training this for for months. Ah, uh, right? a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, let's say this kind of experience here, this this bowling right. place, yeah. Right. Um, people can can make games like this themselves. Exactly. So okay. you buy the land and you build there whatever. And uh, by whatever you want, I mean, of course, there will be some set of rules through our SDK. Um, and of course, uh, you will have some some small limitations, not in terms of what you can do, but in terms of so that it fits to our server, that it meets some uh, criteria, um, and we don't overload the server. But in general, this kind of experiences or any other kind of experience, you will be able to import to, uh, to some other space and have it on your land and even monetize it. So that's that's cool. So, part. so I I could build this kind of game, for example, with uh, Unity. Uh, yes. Okay. Yes, you can build. Wait, let me try one. <laughs> oh. okay. Yeah, you can build it with Unity. You can you can basically import um, uh, any three D object. You can import scripts. Um, you will be able to buy scripts from the Somnium store from okay. other people who script something. So Got you it. don't need to do everything by yourself. Got and it. also one of the one of the corners of the of the whole software is will give you a set of tools like building tools and also tools for uh for scripting right out of the box okay so cool. you'll be you'll be able to do that so for example i could build um a bowling place like this and then if somebody wants to enter the bowling space they have to pay like uh, one dollar could i do this exactly so if you go if we, if we go back uh, absolutely. If you go back here to this screen, so this is one set of tools which we'll give to everyone in the beginning. So this is kind of interactive screen uh, where other people will be able to interact with your property. Okay. And on that screen, you'll be able to script things like pay me to play or um, okay. I don't know, learn more about my property. You can even link people to other websites, to like for example, Somnium or yourspace.somnium.com, somniumspace.com, and things like that. So. There will be. This is a very important piece of um, interaction inside something. You will see it many, many more times uh, in the future when we walk around, uh, nice. because that's kind of the communication hub. Okay. Can I also can I also make, um, for example, a cinema? I always thought about probably I could do some some adult entertainment cinema. <laughs> exactly. You can do that. And of course, um, how that will work is that when you uh, we actually have a cinema here. I can tell you through. Okay. okay. Show show me. Okay, now we're going to the Somnium Mall, it seems. Oops, now... Ah, yeah, here. Okay, okay, you already, you already built a cinema here. Yeah, we have a cinema here, but um, by the way, these are our community events, which are running every week. Um, people can, can come and visit some space here on this, uh, on this info screen. Do you see that? Okay. Yeah, so, um, and if we go inside the cinema, um, here. Yeah space there's other companies but i must oh, say cool. oculus is the first mover nice yeah so do you see the video running so put on these yeah, vr I see, goggles. The, I see the video running and i have to tell you exactly. the we next see the generation same video right now the, the, la front. the lag is running about maximum one second so we see the same experience and it's live oh you know, wow it's, 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 and you can yeah. i can sit down here on these um chairs if i want to yes Tr press the trigger place the trigger and oh yeah sit down. okay cool 
Nice, but now the video stops. Yeah, <laughs> yeah anyway. It depends on your internet connection. Okay, it internet got it, got it, sure. We can teleport out of the city. We can go out uh, to... Okay, so I can I can build a cinema and... Um, hello? Oh, yeah. All right, there was the cinema and now... There was the cinema, yeah. yeah. And, and now we can uh, go outside here. Oh. It's already, it's already a day. All right, so um, it's a day and night changes like it's not 24 it's, hours or... It's not 24 hours, it's faster. So we, you know, those are the small things we, we talked about. We, you know, we have limited, or we have tinkered the speed of teleportation to a certain way. We have made some calculations. We have made the cycle of day and night in a certain way. If you see the clouds are changing, um, those small things, uh, and we have worked, you know, we have worked with the psychologists. Um, those small things they make immersive immersion much, much better, much, you know, much deeper. And um, we are continuing that path. So that not only because of the graphics or just because of your land, but also overall, you have a better experience in the world. Okay, good. So um, I want that piece of land there. <laughs> How do I get it, Ado? Tell tell the viewers more good, about. Good. Good. <laughs> Good for you. I want it too, by the way. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Everybody wants this. Yeah. Uh, Probably you're gonna get it because exactly. you're the founder. <laughs> but tell, tell, no, that, tell the viewers how, how it's how to get the land, and uh, tell the viewers more about your crowdfunding campaign. Right. So um, the crowd invest campaign, which we are run, currently running, is basically our company, Somnium Space Ltd, selling shares of you know our own company to people who whoever wants wants to buy and participate. But nevertheless, not only this is cool that you can you know just buy in, but also we are as a bonus to new investors um, to encourage people. We give away parcels, land parcels, um, in our world for every investor who will invest more than fifty shares. And the point is that somewhat next uh, this year, later this year, around about September, uh, we will run an initial land offering, meaning the whole world. All big world will open, and the all parcels will be up for sale in auction. So whatever you will bid for this parcel or for other parcel and for all other parcels will be the setting price, and you will get it for that price. Now, of course, it will run for a day or two, and then who bids more and comes first, you know, get get it, gets it, uh, gets it, and there will be a competition. But right now, if you invest, uh, you have a chance to get the parcel and claim it two days or one day before the initial offering meaning you will come as an investor will grant you an access you will choose the best spot which you want to choose and then you will have it and basically after after um after you've done it you can choose whether you want to sell it further in the next auction in the in the, in the auction which is coming the next day or you want to give it for yourself so that's kind of the chance for you to get the best spot without competing with all the other you know in the world, um, uh, and you can give, you can secure the best spots because, of course, that spot you can do many things with this spot because everybody will just find that. All right, I get it. So, how about we go over to that spot now, have a look at it? Yeah, yeah, go there. So, this is actually, um, this is the uh, the medium sized parcel, if I'm not mistaken. So we have three different sizes. We have small parcel, uh, which is 200 square meters. We have medium parcel, which is 600 square meters. And we have a big parcel, which is one and a half thousand square meters. Okay, now, so this is the medium one. <laughs> this is, I think, the medium, or it might be even the big one, by the way. It might oh, yeah. be even the big one. It's okay. Pretty, it's pretty yeah, this, that that yeah. is truly big, yeah. So uh, how yeah, about. So this, is, this is the big one. Okay, cool. And how about this one? The red one is taken already, yeah? Somebody's building the something. Red, the red one is, no, we have, we have run our, our tests. Uh, we have built things. You can see it in our trailer. We have built building this, so that's why it's okay. indicated that it's red, because something is built already explained, but it will be opened up when the, uh, when the um, time of thing, the parcels will, will come. So this is just for right now, for our testing purposes, we do that um, to make sure that everything works fine. Got it, got it. Yeah, so Arthur, what, what is that floating island? Is it your house or what is it? <laughs> I, I would wish so, but unfortunately not. Uh, this, again, this is one part of the waypoint we have built to showcase what is possible. 
Um, there will be some community events and parties going on. It's a pretty cool place. Uh, but in general, we want to show what is possible to build on your own land, right? Because you can build structure for that. The trick is every parcel, depending on the size of the parcel, get height limit. And if you want to go above the size limit, which this structure definitely is, you'll have to pay additional price. The reason for that is we don't want people to build steady structures. You know that if you buy land and someone just builds a skyscraper, you have to pay that view. So most people really think twice before they go really high. Okay, got it. All right, nice. So, um, yeah, cool. It's very interesting, very nice to get an idea about Somnium Space. Um, tell me, Arthur, um, wh why don't you show me a bit more around? I saw you have some kind of planetarium or something. Probably we can go there. Yeah, right. We actually have, sure. We uh, uh, are going to have an event in planetarium soon. I'm pretty sure you know... Um, Ken Bai, uh, who? Um, who is um, Ken Bai? He's a pretty known person in, uh, in VR community. He has a um, podcast, um, and he uh, he will be moderating our panel discussion here in uh, in Planetarium. Oh, that's nice. Yes, that is nice. That is a nice place. Cool. Cool. So that's the planetarium. So lots of things going on. You're going to have a panel discussion. And yeah, show me a bit more and then we see what's the next question. <laughs> All right. Let's, uh, let's move up. I'll show you the roof of our headquarter building. So just teleport in the elevator. And here we are. Here we are, let's press the six four. And let's have a nice view and have a nice drive. Okay, cool. So yeah, basically if every anyone is standing anywhere in the world right now or on the floating island, they will be seeing us riding there. Or oh. it's the distance kind of like in real life you won't see um the complete end, um but you will see where you will see. So that's kind okay. Of Good. So let's go to the roof. Wait, where am I now? Where are you now? Are you on the fifth floor, maybe? I I don't know, man. I think yeah. It's, can I can I call the elevator? Yeah, call the elevator. I will drive. I will be in the inside. <laughs> ah, yeah. Okay, Hello. good. Hello there. Hey. And I'm back now. <laughs> yep. Let's go to the floor number six. One up. That was office space, actually. Okay, yeah, that's, that was board. nice. You can, you can draw there. Yeah, yeah. We can, uh, we can, we can just buy a lot of things. Like so, roof. Have to be a bit careful here. Yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Teleport directly here to the, to the roof. Okay, yes. Ah, yeah. Exactly. Here we are. Nice. So, here we are. You can see, so do you see those far, far away, those trees? Yeah, I can see uh, behind the fog of that's, war. <laughs> exactly. That's not even the end. So there are much more behind that. So it's really huge area. Really okay. Huge area. And it will be becoming so, so once we sell 75% of parcels in the phase one, we'll be automatically opening the next, the next phase of the land and next phase of the parcels. And we'll go like that. Got it. So it's going to grow organically. With, with the users, exactly. With the users. Okay, cool. So, Artur, I think here is a right. beautiful place now to ask you the last question. And the last question would be, what is your five-year vision for this place? How is Somnium Space going to look like in five years? What are people going to do here? Tell me your idea, your vision for five years. Um, I think the best, best answer for that and what makes me really excited is that in regards to what people will be doing here, I don't know. How it will look like, I don't know, because we want people to build this place. But what I definitely know is in five years, you will have much bigger land, many more structures here, people socializing and doing basically anything they want to do um, and they were ne never able to in the real life or just, you know, fantasizing and doing things which we all want to do in the metaverse. Um, that's kind of would be my answer. We will not control that. 
of course, we want Somnium has, to have um, a functional economy, um, working um, working experiences that people can earn money, can um, uh, can also spend some money here. Uh, but in principle, we leave it up to you. All right, cool. So it's going to be a very wild ride for you for the next five years. <laughs> yeah, our team uh, is already petrified and excited at the same time. Okay, very cool. Yeah, so thank you so much for this interview. Thanks for showing me around Insomnium Space. And I think for all the viewers, if you want to secure a land for yourself, then you can check out the, the crowdfunding campaign from Somnium Space. I'm going to put a link in the description of this video. And yeah, I'm very excited to follow what's going on in Somnium Space. Thank you, Arthur. Can we shake hands Thank here? You, yeah. Thank you. yeah, absolutely. We can do it. Thanks a lot.